Hey, hello guys, it's How to Tech Simplified, and today in this new video, I will be showing you how to fix the 0xC00007B error. Now, this error usually occurs when you're missing files. Now, this is a very easy fix, just make sure to watch this video till the end so you don't miss any important information. First off, open up your browser. Now, I'm using Google Chrome. From there, we go down to the search bar. I simply go to Google and open up Google. Now from here we search for the C++ redistributable visual pack. Now this will already take you to the download link. Now this is the official team Microsoft website. So these are legit downloads. Now First off, open up this website. Now this will take you to the official supported downloads for the Microsoft Visual C++ packet. Now, when you have a older PC, make sure to download the oldest files. And from here, download the files. Now, if you have a 64-bit computer, download the 64-bit file. And if you have a 32-bit, download the 86-bit file. Now, if you have a newer computer, simply go down to the Visual Studio 2015, 2017, 2019, and 2022 files, and simply go down to the bit that you're using. So, from here, I run a 64-bit laptop, and I simply press the .exe. Now, this will already start the download for me. I simply download it, I install it, and most likely the problem will be fixed. Now let's go to the second option to easily fix this problem. Now for the second easy method, we're going to use CMD, it's command prompt. Now simply go down to the search bar in your windows and type in CMD. Now from here, open up command prompt as a administrator. This is very important and it will ask you to open it simply press yes now here is command prompt now for the following command we're going to easily fix the system with a nice command so simply press s f c spacebar slash scan now, now this will scan the whole whole system uh, for any uh, yeah stuff that's not running well so it will verify all the files on your computer and uh, go if there are any missing files or anything that it's that does not need to be there so simply start a scan and it will most likely fix the issue for you now if this tutorial has helped you in any kind of way please leave a like and subscribe for more easy tech videos and most importantly thank you for watching if you can't uh, fix the problem, simply uh, leave a comment and I will try to help you.